All right, Lucas and I want to show you how to make a histogram rather than just telling you. So over here, as you may be able to see, we have a few data points plotted. So these data points are for how long it takes certain individuals to get to school. Simple. But how do you graph it? What you have to do is take the data points close to each other and put them in a in the same interval. As you can see, there are 10 data points, and some of them are close together, like 3 and 6, and 6 and 10. So what we're going to do is group them in intervals of 9. So first, we're going to take the data points that are from minutes 0 to 9. So these two people take 3 minutes and 6 minutes and there's no other people in that category. So we're going to go over here and write 0, zero to 9. And that's going to be a first category. Our next one is going to be 10 to 19, 20 to 29. 32, 39, 42, 49, and 52, 59. Because there's one person who takes 15 minutes to get to school, so we're gonna label the y axis. What? Label the y axis, too. Alright, um, so as Lucas has pointed out to me, I have to label the y axis, which is right. So, the y-axis is going to be how many people fit into each category. So, since there's 10 data points, I'm assuming that no category is going to have more than 5 or 6, so I'm going to have it go up to 5. Okay. So, under the first category, there are two people, the three minutes person and the six minutes person. So that's two people total. So we go up to here and fill this category up to two. The next category is 10 to 19. And there are also, actually there are three people this time. There's two 13 minute people and one 10 minute person. So this bar goes to three. Uh, we do the same for every other bar, so I'll just fill that in quickly. There's two people here. There is two people here as well. There are zero people in this point, and there's one person here. So, if you look at this graph, this is what you're going to end up with if you plot all the points. Um, and if you wanted to categorize this graph, I'd say it is a skewed distribution because all the data points are on the left side slash middle of the graph, but there's nothing on the side of the graph. All right, so Lucas and I will be back to show you frequency distribution.